I just dump my show right from here, guys. Talking with no freaking... Oh. Why couldn't someone just write in the comments that I was... I need, I need some mods, man. I need some mods. I've just been talking for the last... I've been talking for the last... <laughs> last five, ten minutes, guys, and... My mic was muted. These are the sort of streamer errors that happen when you don't have mods. It's just me, guys. I don't have any big team behind me, so shit happens. So I'll start it again anyway, guys. I started off by thanking my fans that came in, my new subscribers that came in. Thank you, guys, that came in. Um, thanks for all the comments on the videos, guys. Um, hope you're not enjoying the funny videos. Um, they seem to be getting more views than my actual interviews that I do. So shout out to you lot watching my shorts, subscribing, as I said as well. In the last week or so, I've had 2,000 subscribers. Um, thanks very much to you guys. Um, loads of good content. I'm not a one-trick pony. Um, all sorts of content I make. I do lovely interviews with beautiful women, um, get their perspectives on life. I do life story interviews. Um, no, I don't just interview women, but nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, uh, women are the only ones that want to come on the show. And one would think that, you know, you get beautiful women coming on you doing stories and stuff like you get more traction but um but yeah yeah so i'm gonna have to start literally from the beginning again okay let's just start with um i've said thank you to you guys that have come over let's start with um let's start with the players um a nana performance at the back um brilliant save from carl walker that shot that was a bullet shot from carl walker that was a great save should he have saved that shot from God? What's his name? Godu, Godu, or some shit like that. Godu. Um, he's Belgium, isn't he? God, is it Godu? I can't remember his name. Gadu or Godu. That brother was giving us problems, boy. He came on the pitch, boy, straight away. Just literally, just double up, triple up. Uh, Wambasaka done really well. I was so worried when he kept going aground, trying to make them slide tackles against him. Uh, that was dangerous. Well, it's probably a good thing that my sound was muted. You lot didn't have to listen to me chomping my breakfast. So, but um, but yeah, guys, um, great performances all round. Ten Hag, that tactics brilliantly, getting people behind the ball, stopping their midfield, st stopping their offensive midfield from playing, just crowding them out, and then hitting them on the counter. I don't mind playing counter attack football. It's kind of like what Marina used to play, but it's sad that you know. Bruno was playing false nine. Rashford was playing on the right, on the left. Did he play on the right? Did he start on the right or the left? I can't remember. He went on both sides. Um, it would have been better if, like, we... There's nothing wrong playing counter in football, but, like, it would have been better if we had, like, a striker up, like, someone up top, right down the middle, and two two really good wingers. What do you lot think about Dallow, Dallow playing, like, a more in a more offensive position? Because my guy is quality, absolute quality, and he can defend. So I'm thinking if we had like, if we had like um, a, a good striker down the middle, maybe Hoyland, um, Garnacho and Dallo either side of him, and um, sort of like a sort of like a four five one. Uh, but obviously, when we're attacking, it's a four three three. Everyone knows the deal there. Um, but obviously, Dallo, he imagined a protection. He'd give the fullbacks as well. Because that guy, he just looks. Why is it about defenders? They look so much stronger when they're running. Look, Carl Walker, when he's running, just looks so much stronger. Um, let's talk Rashford, bro, because Rashford, you know, I think you've, I don't know, man, it happens to everyone, you know. He's, he, he was at the top of his game last season, and, you know, trying to keep it up is always difficult. But um, in this game, I was hoping he would have done the business and forced Gareth Southgate to bring him to the Euros, because uh, I do think he's got something to offer us. Um well, we've got Ollie Watkins. I was going to say Harry Kane isn't isn't you know the most quickest, but because you 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 see that in that um, in the Champions League really like towards the end when they got knocked out, load of through balls came in for him and literally just he's just too slow ultimately. I do prefer Kane in like a number ten role anyway, where the pressure's off him and he can just sort of link up play, make them late runs into the box. Um, Foden kept quiet, good. De Bruyne having to come off, boy, that was mad. I was like, wow, I was clapping when he had to come off. Absolutely clapping. All right. Again, a lot, we've got a lot of Man City fans in the comments over there. 7-0 um, <laughs> by Liverpool and all this. Um, no, it happens. It happens, guys. It's only it's only three points. You can beat us and batter us, but in the, the day, 
Uh, the worst club in Manchester. That comment's been said quite a bit. The worst club in Manchester. But guys, we are the only club in Manchester that have that FA Cup trophy. So let's just remember that, yeah? You've got the Premier League this season and the Carabao Cup. We've got the FA Cup, you know? Fair play, four, four titles in a row, fair play. But you're, if you know, if you thank Pep anyway, that's all I'll say to you guys. Thank Pep. Without Pep, um, I don't know, man. And as soon as Pep leaves, the ship's going to sink over there. You know, we've had years of success on that, Alex, you know, Sir Alex, forgive me. Um, so, you know, yeah, you know, I don't, it's not, it's not. Yes, we. Yes, I want to win things. Yes, I would love to win the Premier League. Love to win the Champions League. Weekend went out, but it's not about that. You know, it's about play, like building and building a brand of football that we like to that we can that the fans actually enjoy watching and looking like we know what we're doing. And a lot of people are saying, you know, it's very easy to be up for a game when we're playing Man City in effort in the FA Cup final, Wembley. But you know, we have to remember is when these when these lower teams come that's their FA Cup final. We have to put the same amount of effort into it. And if we don't, we're going to get outrun. You know, with the modern day football now, everyone is a, every every team has got these beasts in their midfield. F strong, fast, athletic, and we've got slow players running all over the place. Um, so we need to compete in that midfield, man. We just need to. We just need to. Uh, Bruno, let's just start with the players I want to keep. I'll start from the top. Hoyland. Uh, I'm gonna say Rashford again, but I just I just want Rash the old Rashford back, man. Just not necessarily. Obviously, I want him in form, but I want him ment mentally in the right place because he doesn't look right at the minute, honestly. Um, so we'll give Rashford a pass. Ganacho, yes, I want him. Mainu, yes, I want him. Bruno, yes, I want him. And one man that that a lot of people need to give this brother some credit. Is um, why this always happens to me. This always happens to me. That mid, that defensive midfielder that we got that came in yesterday that was beast in it, absolutely beast in it. Like this, oh my god! I was singing his praises yesterday. I can't remember his name now. Oh for fuck's sake, that's really gonna piss me off. Someone help me out. The midfielder, I think he's Moroccan or something. He's gonna come back to me. Give me a second. His name needs to be mentioned. What was this freak? Anyway, never mind. I'm gonna leave that one there. But everyone knows who I'm talking about the brother that's on the brother we got on loan. I think we, I know what we done. We've done some sort of part loan, part deal sort of thing, and uh, we got the option. But he played sick in midfield, absolutely sick. And in defensive midfield, he was just bossing it, absolutely bossing it. Lovely. Um, he's definitely out of run. Um, Mason Mount. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure about Mason Mount. I'm not sure at all. Um, we haven't seen him, so we don't know. But we've paid all this, paid what is it, 60 million paid for him, and then Maynu's taking his spot and freaking, you know, <laughs> just bossed it up for him. So, Varan, Varan's leaving. Um, Maguire, I don't have any problems with Maguire. Maguire is an old school center back, an old school center back, but he's a bit more advanced than the average. Like, I would say he's a bit more advanced than John Terry, like technically, but you know. Defensively, defensively, he's fine. But if we want to play the kind of football that we want to play, pressing high, pressing high, defenders always on the ball, be it like playing like defenders that can play like Paul's goal, switching the ball left to right. Um, <laughs> we've got a goalkeeper that can play like Paul's goal, switching the ball left to right, good foot, left foot, right foot. Um, who else do I want to keep from the back four? Um, uh, maybe maybe give the Harry Maguire a pass, but if they want to play this high press, we need players that have got pace at the back. Bottom line, we need pace. You you can't compete without pace at the back. Like you just need that. You need you don't have to be super fast, but you need a little bit. Of, you need a little bit of pace. A little bit of pace. Um, Evans done brilliantly coming on loan for us. Um, he's done a brilliant job. So quite happy with him. Um. Oh, Wambasaka, he done really, really well. Really, really well yesterday. Just for the life of me, that brother, man, like, I, as soon as he does, defensively, he's a beast, yeah. He, defensively, he's a beast. But when it comes to passing the ball, brother, man, seriously, he's the worst passer of the ball ever. I would prefer Wambasaka, when he gets the ball, just to run, because he's so fast, he ain't going to catch him. 
he may as well just knock the ball into face and just run. Burst, burst through and try cut some balls back and try try cut them balls back to the back post or have a shot across goal, you know? Um, so the moment that brother gets on the ball, I just start praying, boy. I'm just like, nah, it's going to break down. It's going to break down. Technically, you know, in terms of passing the ball, just at, passing the ball at pace is really difficult. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, like when you're running at pace and you're passing, receiving, it is difficult to get that pass out. But you would exp- he, that's something he needs to work on. And just to think as well, he was out of favour for a while. He was out of favour for at least three months and he got back in the team and then he done really well. But oh, bottom line, you can't play slow defenders, man. Um, you can't play slow defenders. Not now, not nowadays in this Premier League, man. You're mad. Um, <clears throat> ecstatic, anyway. Really happy for Ten Hodge. Has he done enough to keep his job? Um, I don't know. <laughs> He's won something. He's won something. Um, he's been very unlucky, he'll say. You know, I did like 20 something partnerships at, in, the, in the back four um, this season. So he's been very unlucky. But uh, Martinez, brilliant defender. But if he's going to be injured every week, then is is he, can we, re- can you rely on a guy like that? You know, we need a, a centre back that's like ready that can play 60 games a season, you know? Well, not 60. Yeah, 50 to 60 is probably average, isn't it? including the Champions League. We're in Europe, so that's obviously a good thing as well. But my dog's flaked out in the back there. Um, let's have a look at this FA Cup. Oof! Look at that! Look at that, boys! Look at that! Look at that! It's ours. We've got some silverware again, man. We've got some freaking silverware. That's bloody great. How good is Mainu? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, the kids, like, you know, the kids got so much talent, talent. And I think we don't even know, we don't even know what his potential, what his potential is at the minute. I think it's going to be crazy. But, you know, when I saw him, when I first saw him, I was like, oh, I don't know. He's, he, the way we play, because I'm used to midfields that like Paul Scholes, Roy Keane, Jay, Michael Carrick. Um, yeah, Michael Carrick. Um you know, to sit in midfield that can get on the ball, dictate place, bring it around. But we seem to be using our goalkeeper to do that job at the minute. And so we want to play some really expressive football going forward. Um, so um, it's tough, really. But when he gets on the ball and he starts moving, you know, and he's shown that he's so clinical, he near, yeah, he pretty much does start that goal as well. He pretty much does start his own goal. Brilliant pass from Rashford. Brilliant ball from Gonacho. A little cutback to Bruno. And Bruno looks over his shoulder three or four, no, at least three or four times before that ball comes over. <sighs> anyway, guys, um, we've got a trophy. We're happy. We're excited. Um, those of you that joined, um, those of you that subscribed to my channel, loads of exciting content to come. So make sure you lot just sit tight. Loads of really good interviews that I do all the time. Loads of funny videos that I do all the time. Um, and, um, yeah, I think that's it for this morning, guys. Um, you lot all have a fabulous day. Manchester United, glory, glory, Man United gets in back on the silverware. Um, Brudzy Entertainment, y'all have a lovely day. Peace.